In this video, we're gonna show you three tips to make your videos more cinematic. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Filmstock YouTube channel. We are Chris and Christina, if you didn't know that already, and we're here to help you make better videos and empower your inner video creator. Just before we get started with this one, make sure to hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss any future tips and tricks videos just like this one. Adding a cinematic touch to your videos can really help make them feel more professional and can also help add a little more depth to your story. But when it comes to making your videos look and feel more cinematic, it can be hard to know where to start. What exactly do you need to add in order to do this? Well, we're gonna tell you about three things that you can easily do with your own videos to get that cinematic look. The first thing that will help you make your videos more cinematic is using cinematic titles. Titles help to tell the story of your video in a much more visual way. And if you use them right, they can make such a difference to your video. You can find some great cinematic title packs on Filmstock that will make adding titles a whole lot easier. Let me show you some examples. If you want some full screen titles, then you can find great ones in these packs. The Cinematic Trailers Title Pack. Cinematic Titles Pack. Cinematic Trailers and Cinematic Intro Volume 2. Full screen titles are great for an intro to your video, to help split your video into different parts, or to add to your ending. However, if you did want to add a cinematic ending, you could also use something like this. This comes from the Cinematic Ending Pack, which features a lot of title screens specifically for the ending of your video. Some of them have a real movie feel to them and others are a bit more simple. But you have lots of choices with this pack. You could also add titles throughout your video to help with telling your story. For example, adding in a title to display the location always looks good and gives a cinematic feel. So get adding those titles throughout your video and you will see a big difference. The next tip adds something a little more subtle, but it is a great way to make your videos look great and more consistent. And that is using a cinematic LUT. And once again, Filmstock can help you to do this easily. There is a full video here on the channel about using some of the Filmstock LUT packs, so you can check that out for a more in-depth tutorial, but I will quickly show you how you can use them and what difference they make to your video clips. For cinematic videos, I really enjoy this LUT pack called the Cinematic Pack. It features many different LUTs or filters that you can use to essentially color grade your clips and give them a certain look. So depending on what kind of look you like and of course what your video topic is will depend on what filter you choose. But you have lots of choices that will instantly give you that cinematic look. Just add the same LUT to all your clips and you will have a more professional looking video. Number three is something you may forget about a lot of the time, but it can make a huge difference to the feel of your videos. And that is the use of sound effects. Now you don't have to have a sound effect for every single thing in your video, but adding a couple of sound effects here and there can really take your video to the next level. You can search for sound effects on the Filmstock website in the audio section. And there are also many sound effects built into your Filmora video editor. So it's easy to find the sound you need. If you're relatively new to using sound effects, I would keep it quite simple to begin with. Maybe add some background ambience or birds chirping is a good way to start. A little tip here is to keep the sound effect nice and subtle, so turn the volume down a little so you can just about hear it and use the fade in and fade out settings so it's not so harsh. This will make it sound much better. So let's say for example we have a sequence like this. Thank you. 
So using all of those tips that we just mentioned, you can transform that sequence to this. So hopefully you find this video helpful and now you can make your own videos more cinematic. The links to the packs that we used in this video and also Fillmore 11 will be in the description below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button too so you don't miss any future videos just like this one. So that's it for this one. Keep creating and we will see you in the next one.